Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your 16 Ranch Hand co-host Calderness. This episode we're going to be talking about some upcoming Beyond Amazing Scott Porter unboxings. Our first weekly day we had on our lo- new local venue and answer quite a few listener questions. This is episode 453. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how many? Six people think I am funny. It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which Absolute fools, it's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Google, back some more. Let's attack him because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Click singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me, like always, in the studio is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Ooh, you know, last week I said space, or no, I guess this last episode, that was the bonus episode, I said space when you said what's going on. Oh, yeah. And uh, it continues to go on. Yeah. It is infinite, ever expanding space. It's true, You're right? It does go on. That is one thing it does. Uh, well, what made you happy this last week, my man? Uh, not space, because oh. I've been playing Prey. Have you Ooh. have you heard of this game? I've not heard of Prey. It's, it's first person shooter jump scare the game. Mm. Yeah. So okay, you're in the space station, and there's these things called all well, these alien creatures. I don't know. There's a lot of backstory. But the one main thing is they look like little spiders, except mm. by little I mean like huge, the size of like a Jack Russell like terrier. A dog, yeah, yeah. Um, and they can mimic, and that's like what well, their nickname is mimics. They can mimic objects. So like you might be ah. like, oh, a health pack, that's good. I'm low on health, and you run over to it, and nope, giant spider Dope thing spider. attacking you now. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun? I love that just, in video games. Yeah. <laughs> I. You know what? My favorite kind of content is just continual jump scare. This is a game and made so, for Twitch streamers, basically. <laughs> probably, yeah. We made this game specifically for Markiplier, actually. Right. It gets less scary. I mean, obviously, once you get like leveled up. You get and, better at it. <laughs> yeah. like It's still surprising. Because like I actually have like the technology in the game now. We have the technology. To, like yeah, to like <laughs> I have like this little like view screen that I can I could just check out every room and be like scan it and be like oh there's mm. one that's pretending to be towels. But no, I forget to do that constantly, and I just like walk in and yeah. Uh, but no, it is it's a very interesting game. It's got one of the more interesting skill trees, maybe like one of the first first person shooter skill trees where I'm going to replay it because... You want to try a different build? There's Yeah, there's like yeah. a definitive, like... Well, and I, I was investing heavily in, like, the first three things that it shows you, and then what I consider, like, halfway through the game is probably, like, a, a quarter into the game. Um, you unlock, like, a whole other skill tree that, like, you weren't aware was there. It's, like, the oh, alien skills. This is where the game really starts. So, like, there's, yeah, like... There's different powers, so like you can turn into like a co- a coffee cup or something like that's a that's a <laughs> skill you, you can learn. Yeah, you learn that skill. Uh, so like I I decided when I was that already goes to sip his coffee. <laughs> Boom! Bang! Shoot yeah. in the face. Like, oh, oh, you thought you were just gonna walk oh, by thought... spider creature? No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I decided to continue this uh, playthrough as is, where I'm just heavily invested in like engineer science and then now that i'm like at the end game i'm like i guess security i guess i'll do okay. more damage with guns and wrenches even though like i've been doing fine so far right um but yeah then i'll next time i play through i'm gonna do like a stealth like coffee cup scooting across the That's floor kind of, kind of thing I, like <laughs> I haven't i haven't even tried it i haven't even like looked into it to see what it does um so I don't even know if that's like actually feasible, but I'm gonna do it next time. So we'll report back. We'll see if it's worth starting a whole new save to yeah. to go down that like side of the tree. All right, right on. Well, this last week, me and my little brother played a ton of Evil Dead the game. It had an update come out. This is what made me happy this week because uh duh, we're talking about Evil Dead the game again. Uh, they made a battle royale version of it, a splatter royale. I showed you a little bit of that, where it's it's Fortnite, but it's Evil Dead now. So okay. it's coo- so it's cooler and therefore not lame, like how Fortnite is lame <laughs> right. and not cool. 
How much building would you say happens there, in Evil Dead? There's zero building in Evil Dead, oh, which okay. is why I like it. I yeah. very much prefer the no building. Uh, it's more so of a, ooh, creepy, you know, because it's Evil Dead. You know, it's mm. a horror movie and whatnot. So we played a ton of that. There's no, like, duos system for it, so you can't party up for it. But if you just start the search at the same time, we've had, like, a 100% success rate at just getting in the same game that way. So... We get in the same game. We like try to find each other as soon as possible, and then we just clown people. It's so, dude. It's <laughs> it feels so good. Like I, I'm like the melee based class. There's classes for this game, and he's like the more hunter uh, range based class. So it's like he like pop shots. He call it out to me. He's like, go track him down, and then I run him down. <laughs> yeah, I go kill him. It's so it's so uh... fun. Um, you can't crouch in the normal game. They added the crouch mechanic to this one. Oh, so you sure. can like, sneak for enemy like players and stuff. So huh. that means that when we victory, we may or may not go over to the <laughs> to the body and crouch, crouch a couple of times. times. You know, yeah. you know, you know like, yeah, if you know, you know. Yeah. Um just to let them know that your knees work well. Right, yeah. exactly. You got healthy knees. Yeah. So yeah, we've been having a ton of fun. Other thing that made me happy this week uh, for Evil Dead was it's the 30th anniversary of Army of Darkness. It came out 30 years ago. I saw that. So I watched the director's cut for the first time of Army of Darkness. It adds like 12 minutes of okay. film to it. I liked a lot of what it added. I will say the original cut and the cut Bruce Campbell likes, it gets rid of the ending. So they the original ending is what was more in line with the vision. Mm. It fits more the Evil Dead style of how they ed- end their films. But I like the theatrical ending because it's like the good ending, basically. It's where he, you like, know? he doesn't goes to stay. That. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't stay back in time. He goes right. back to the future. Well, it's like it's that you've seen like the S Smart ending where he's mm. like in the store and he like saves the day and everybody's like, yeah, we love you and that. And like I love that. I love the hero endings, what people call it. But they they get rid of that, which already eh, not a fan of. But the rest of the stuff they added, I really really liked. They they added a. A, like a longer fight that was already a really fun fight in, with, in the uh, movie with evil ash with not with the evil ash with the with the mini ashes oh the, the mini the, ashes okay so that's really cute like he fights them for like an extra two three minutes and i'm like Dude, that's worth it there. It's, I, yeah. I really liked it and then he also they added a bit more three stooges-esque fighting against the skeletons in both the cemetery and the castle which i really liked so and we get some more evil ash scenes so like i, I okay. was like Overall, I liked the director's cut, but I would be like, okay, I would say director's cut, but with the good ending, with the hero ending. Oh, actually, there was actually one more thing I didn't like about it. They removed the line, good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun, which is like one of the most iconic yeah. lines Ash says when he's fighting evil Ash. Why was that cut? I don't know, huh? but it's not in it. He just says, whatever, or something, and I'm like, bro, this we can't replace good, wow. bad, I'm the guy with the gun. It's so iconic, so that was a bit of a bummer. Well, since we have a, a light week, did we want to do a Marvel Snap check in? Oh, at sure. All, or mostly because I went infinite. <laughs> I went infinite <laughs> this week, so. Well, I'll I'll start then. There you go. I'm not infinite. Uh, I started this season. I don't know if we've talked that since uh, it's been a this minute. season started, yeah. but I started this season uh, at the low rank of ten or eleven, something like that. <laughs> Wasn't great. Not a great uh, way to start off. Since I started the, I, I know. I was playing the Hazmat Wong, like Odin, that like kind of combo. combo. I finally got like all the pieces for it. I already had Typhoid. The last piece was really um, just Luke Cage, and I finally got him. So I've been playing that. Um, I've been, you know, depending on like the challenges, I've been going back and forth between like the Electro Ramp and like the Electric Viper version, which is Electric Viper. The only difference is I have a ton of one cost cards and okay. also the point of that one is to like i have two ways of getting rid of uh electro like after he's i so i want the on reveal but not the ongoing obviously right whereas the normal electro ramp i have i just don't care like you just have all my cards, cards yeah, yeah all my cards are going to be high cost so um i go back and forth between those three but then lately uh the last couple days i've been running this patriot deck because I just got, um, what's his name? Well, I just got a few people. I just got Doc Ock, uh, but I just got Ultron. 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 Yeah, yeah, I just got Ultron, and he's not as great as Doom because Doom pops out to like five energy five, ones, yeah. And so you can fill up your lanes a little bit more a little earlier. But Ultron plus Kazar plus Patriot 
And then if like somehow by some like miracle you also get onslaught out there, oh, or you're playing with uh like limbo's in effect or something, I mean there's like ways it can happen. Right. It's possible to get like those uh, Ultron drones to like real stupid stuff. Or if you're just on onslaught citadel, that's happened to me right. before too. And it is the for whatever reason it's one of like the few decks that people just like either they don't think that you've got the right cards or. Yeah. Or they just think they're going to win. They don't do the math right. But, like, people will snap against you with, like, a closed-off location. And then turn six, I drop, like, Ultron. And he shouldn't win. Like, really shouldn't. He's just dropping, like, a bunch of one-cost card or, you know, one-attack cards. Yeah. But then, yeah, like, all of a sudden my four one-attack cards are getting boosted by three each. So I end up, like, at, like, a stormed location or something yeah. winning. So it's just been really uh, – it's one of the few – decks i've ran in the last couple weeks or months even where i feel like i can snap fairly consistently and i know for sure when i snap because there's a lot of times where i just wouldn't snap like i've been going through this phase where i just i just play and i don't care if i snap or not and like i retreat if they snap and i don't like have like the thing you know but i don't usually snap against them because Wind conditions are real hard with, like, hazmat. They're oh. real hard with, like, electro ramp. There's, like, so much stuff out there that your opponent can whip out and just surprise you with. Um, one dude did, like, devil dino on a locked down location, and I was okay. winning it, and I was like, all right, like, if I'm winning it, like, he's definitely going to play a card turn six. Right. So there's no way I don't win that location because he'll stay at nine. He played beast. And so he brought three oh, cards back to his hand. Wow. And so Devil Dino ended up winning that, like, whatever it was, like the the vault or whatever, you know, thing. Right, sure. And so, yeah, I mean, there's, like, some wa- wacky tech That's out there totally, that just, yeah. like, surprises me, which Beast does work with, you know, the collector kind of, like, decks. Yeah. Um, for whatever kind reason. Kind of thinking outside the box on that one. I've never yeah. Seen that before. Hmm. But yeah, I've been having fun with the the old classic Patriot deck. Uh, I won't get into everything that's on it, but there's a few like ongoing things. I like doing Brood with uh, Captain America and Brood with Mojo, especially oh, yeah. if it's like already on like a fun location. Yeah. Also, just like Mojo on Onslaught Citadel or using Onslaught as like the fourth card on the Mojo thing. That is like so Mojo nuts. So high, dude. For oh, a two cost card, he gets way too high he's a potential yeah two for eight you know who else is a two cost card and has the opposite effect lizard lizard, a lizard and yeah five. he's so much worse yeah like, oh, way worse. yeah but he's good he makes your opponent like have to commit to a side or something which is cool that's true uh so yeah like i said i did i was able to i was lucky enough to be able to go infinite this season it was a really and i don't want to sound rude a really easy climb i'm not gonna lie there was one night where i was just like going up i was like 85 80 something and i was like oh i started at 70 i was like okay i'll play a little bit more i ended the night around like 91 but i got all the way up to like 94 92 and then at 94 and i dropped back down to 91 i was like all right okay i'm done I'm not gonna play anymore yeah now like i woke up i played a few games won like three eight cube games in a row and i was like what is Jeez. happening so then i just like kept playing kept playing you know started playing a little smarter and whatnot um and then, like, okay, retreating when I need to. And I was like, okay, well, I was infinite by lunch that day. And I was like, all right, cool, thanks. So uh, what I used, and I, it wasn't originally, Debris wasn't originally in this Patriot deck, uh, but I played against so much Galactus. I was playing mm-hmm. against a disgusting amount of Galactus on my, like, road to infinite. So you play it on a location that they already have a card, and then right. they just can't Galactus. The rocks there. Yeah. That, that was the biggest thing. And, and yesterday... I was already there, but yesterday I played against a Thanos deck three times in a row, and I was like, "What is happening? What are we? What are we?" Thanos doing decks have like the wackiest it's... variations because he's like not a card oh, yeah. that's really good. Like it's why like you can get him to pop off, and it's like, yeah. yeah, if he's like your turn six play, he's better than most things that you can play turn six. But he's not like a tech card outside of giving you the gems, and then you're yeah. like, "Am I gonna put six gems that honestly like?" aren't going to win you a location. Are you going to put those out? That fills up uh, half of, like, your location. Yeah. It'll fill up a full location and then, like, another half. So you have to, like, also include him with, like, either Killmonger or um, Carnage or, like, I don't know. Some, like, the variations I've seen are wacky. They're, it's like, all, dude, they're wild. The place. 
But so this version of Patriot, I did play it during the featured location of I was already infinite by what's it called Space Throne, but uh, I did play it during we had the weird jackpot that location that was like the lockjaw effect. I did oh play yeah, it during the that. quantum that was tunnel. not huge for it. I don't think any location buffed this team a lot, but uh, it is Wasp, Squirrel Girl, Misty Knight, Shocker, Mystique, Patriot, Debris. Thing, Blue Marvel, Abomination, Doctor Doom, and then Ultron. I like the choices of Doctor Doom and Ultron, and it just mm. kind of depends on how the game shakes out and plays on which one you need. The you know goal, of course, is to be able to drop Patriot first and then instantly drop Mystique, and then when you drop Mystique, that'd be like turn four, so drop a Misty Knight or a Squirrel Girl. Then you can Debris, Thing, Blue Marvel, A-Bomb, whatever, and there's just situationally, it's better to drop Doctor Doom or Ultron sometimes. Is what I've just started to notice because if you, if you get if you get Patriot Mystique out there, drop Ultron. Cause, yeah. You know, yeah. If you just get Patriot, okay, then They're... Doctor Doom's probably better. But like that, once you get more of the whatever, you get Patriot Mystique Blue Marvel. It's like just drop Ultron because you got like. 27 power on yeah. the two locations or they're something gonna nuts, yeah fill you know? uh, yeah you don't even have to uh, what made me really switch to it to running this was i played against the guy and he didn't play anything until turn four and he played kazar Ooh. and then he played blue marvel and i was like what, what? i was like good good like gg bud yeah. like i win and then yeah turn six he dropped ultron and so uh all of his ultrons were they're three, three so yeah. yeah he had 12 at like both 12 other locations three, yeah. and i just didn't have that much i think i was like i think it was like 11 or 10 at one location and then like the other location um i might have even won but like yeah it was just like enough of like a boost that it was just like wow i didn't realize you only had to play three cards to win yeah but uh yeah the fact That's that funny. he waited until turn four to actually play his first card uh it really makes me regret not pinning mystique when i had her in my shop because mm. she was like a thousand tokens i really like i haven't seen her since she, and also i've spent all my tokens she now. was one that i pinned and, and bought i think mystique was a yeah. huge help so yeah but you know game's been fun i'm not doing the smart thing and save up for deadpool though i i bought i was i spent a lot of gold this week actually i bought the pixel night crawler who looks awesome he looks mm. like he's got both his swords out there i bought pixel silver surfer who i really like i don't even know if i'll ever run silver surfer again because yeah. of his change which is really a big bummer but i really like that pixel silver surfer it looks amazing i bought pixel wasp because she also looks amazing and i needed a good wasp variant too so her wings also like flutter what wants to really? be animated which is kind of cool no, very you know they're yeah it's kind of like flutter wave around, yeah they like kind of like move ish and then i got one step closer to completing my cap collection i finally got the alex ross motorbike cap variant go. so we're getting close i think it's just infinity war cap and then i don't know what else is in the game that is in the game that hasn't been released yet but we'll have to see. But we're getting close. Getting close. I think I saw a um, a Killmonger variant, and I want to check and Ooh. see if it's like a real thing. Yeah. Uh, because it was a Killmonger, but it looked like Jason Voorhees. And Interesting. I want to see if it's an actual. Vi- yeah. Oh, it's his okay. Pixel one. It's his pixel one. It's so his, uh, his, it's like, yeah. Mask it's his movie. right. So I didn't. It was like the very last card that got played like that uh-huh. game. And I wasn't really paying attention, but I was like, it looked, when I first looked at it, it looked like he was holding, like, a machete or knife. knife. Yeah. And then, yeah, because it's pixelated, that, like, bone mask or Does skull like mask, mask yeah. kind of looks like a hockey mask. So That's a really good pixel, though. That actually. is. That it is, like, really a solid. very well-done pixel. I don't see that a lot for Killmonger. I think He's, I see like, all of his, uh, pix- or all of his all variants good. are good, yeah. yeah. His original art's okay. Even Dan Hip. Dan Hips are, like give or take some are horrible some are good this is pretty solid yeah all right should we talk about hero clicks i guess yeah. i suppose <laughs> this is a hero clicks podcast as you may have figured out being such a thing before i think uh, all right so let's just do the news really quick Scott Porter, just hot off the presses, moments before recording this, posted on Twitter that he got his Brick of Spider-Man, his both play-at-home kits, his Dyson Token Pack, and his starter set, and also got his Strange Glass of Liquid, or whatever he's going to be drinking this week. Like, 
I don't know. It's bro, it looks it's like orange ish, but it's got ice cubes. So it's either a mimosa yeah. in like a I don't know. He's drinking and a mimosa out of like a big glass. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the not this uh, is like a ice water kind of glass, not like a right. Like a beverage kind of right. glass. But so it's, it's either that or it's regular orange juice. Just orange juice. With, with ice real cubes. Diluted orange juice, man. He forgot to shake up the, the orange juice bottle before bringing it to court. So yeah. he's got a brick of Beyond Amazing. Beyond Amazing is like late March, I believe, is its release date. So we can probably expect the unboxing. It's Memorial Day today. Memorial, goodness gracious. It's President's Day today. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> right. President's we are recording on a, a Monday. So. On a Monday. So usually he uploads on a Monday. I will say his Thanksgiving unboxing for Empire was like Tuesday or Thursday. He like actually yeah. uploaded it. So it might come out tomorrow. So by the time you're listening to this, this might be old news. And Scott has already started opening stuff. Or maybe it's going to be next Monday, the 27th, I guess. So we'll have to see. We don't know yet. But he's got both Play at Home kits. He's got the Dyson Token Pack. He's got like everything we said. But what is that? What's that other little thing he's got on top of his brick there, Simeon? Oh, that? that would be a Peter the Hunter. Ooh, whoa, from what from if? From what if. That was yeah. like what eight if years ago. Peter was killed ago. Uh, Craven the Hunter, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that was a different anniversary, I believe, right, for yeah. his kids. Um, so, yeah, a little uh, – it's not like a figure I would normally – think of when it comes to like spider-man especially like not a new spider-man oh, set interesting pick so yeah I, I feel like that is a little hint that maybe scott is giving out there's mm-hmm. definitely i mean a few other people on facebook have already said that That's ebay's blowing up for him oh but, yeah i believe it yeah um it is i do like that peter the hunter he had two cool effects he one made like four bystanders that was the uh the craven family yeah and they all did different stuff. And then his other one was he could get like I can't remember the name of the tokens, but he could get them. And if he got them, it could heal him back to like top click. Oh, okay. So you KO somebody, and he could heal all the way back up. Do you think but, he's gonna uh, have a trait that's keeping up with the Craven offs? And that's his, oh gosh, that's how he makes them. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be a pretty good trait. I hope he still makes the bystanders. I don't think have we had a card that like made bystanders before it was a legacy card and then it still made those i guess rick jones right so rick jones so still yeah, rick still jones. makes like or yeah still the they've, legacy they've still makes bystanders. Added bystanders i was gonna uh, say like you could definitely because of the way that peter was made you could definitely do it without those uh, totally bystanders just make him a beast right? yeah just give him like a whole slew of powers and stuff yeah. but um yeah and i mean I think all Spider-Mans are to be considered because I can't remember if this one specifically had super senses, but they've all got super senses somehow now. Yeah, like, that's right. With that team ability. So, um, and then, yeah, we do get to see the, the Carnage special I object. Have Carnage symbiote, which is very much the symbiote from Superior Foes of Spider-Man, but repainted to be red. Yeah, it's still not on a dial, so, or not on a, it's not on a base, like a base I guess. Yeah. Um, which they have been Ooh. doing with most equipment just to give it a set number. You can and see the, the top dial, not the stats of Ooh, Miles Morales. Four range, two lightning two bolts. bolts. He's got a trait, no improved movement. Ooh, Miles. Mm. Interesting, Miles, interesting. Yeah, is he in like an all black suit? Not like his like black and red suit? He, like well, Miles. the Marvel symbol is like right where his, oh, his, emblem, would his be. emblem would be. Yeah. Kind of like that might be red lines. Okay. It's really hard the way that the... This picture was taken does not give us a whole lot of anything to go off of. So, but uh, yeah, we do see the Dyson tokens. I'm not a huge fan of the artwork, yeah. like um, it. but it's very like into the Spider Versey. I wish it was into yeah, the Spider Versey. It looks like a kid's coloring book I mean, cover, dude. Like it looks like <laughs> Marvel Adventures generic comic book for it is very old like. Very like no kid to friendly the artist, ish. but it's very it's very uh, yeah childish looking. And then the the sixes friends. on the dice are Spider Man or Spider Man uh, doing a swing or a leap. I don't know. Is Can't really like, tell from this angle. Thwip between his legs. Yeah, thing. yeah. It does kind of look like that. He's kinda got like po- yeah. a little squiggly line that's web that he's doing something with. Swinging around. Yeah. So that's a fun one. I like that yeah. dice set. Um, I've had to get very selective with my dice sets in the last couple of years because I just have so many mm-hmm. and I don't want to get rid of any of them, but like the, sadly, like the Harley Quinn and Gotham girls bombs are, are probably going to leave. Like That's as fun great. as it like is to be like, Oh, you know, drop bombs on like your opponent. Right. Um, 
there's like there's no reason like personally i don't like care about the bombshells that much yeah, so like there's no reason to keep it in my collection really uh when i could have cool spider-man thwipping ones Ooh ah so yeah that is going to be the scott porter unboxing not much to go off of after this just to get excited and hopefully we see it here in the near future so we'll stay tuned on those updates guys uh, what I am excited to talk about, though, is we had our very first event at Dragon's Lair this week in Omaha, Nebraska. So now that Ian and I are all moved down in here to Omaha, we went over to Dragon's Lair on Sunday, uh, as timely as we always are, I guess. <laughs> and we played some 300 Modern Hero Clicks, some nice, casual, fun 300 Modern Hero Clicks. We're getting, trying to start a new venue, trying to get new players into the game, which means, you know, you don't you don't bring the smoke instantaneously. Yeah. You just kind of chill, hang out, play whatever. So, Simeon, how what was it like getting it organized? Pretty fun? I mean, yeah, it was... You were, you were kind of head guy there. I mean, judge. I was mostly just, like, answering when... So, yeah, um, we, we're not officially on the win yet. Oh, okay. Because their other location is... And there's some, like, weird internal drama where, like, the guy that's managing the other location, like, he's, like, doing, like, a My Precious, but, like, hate, like, he, he hates, word. like, hero clicks or, I, you know, whatever, oh. the Smeagol, like, kind of thing. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Well, but if he hates hero clicks, he's going to love the knuckle sandwich I'm about to make him. <laughs> he's, yeah, so they're not doing hero clicks, but the people that run Dragon's Lair are like, but, like, we like hero clicks, so. Yeah. So we're running Hero Clicks. They have a win account. We don't for some reason. So mm. we're getting that sorted out still so we can start posting stuff. But we did get... How many people were there? Um, enough for four games to be we going. Like, yeah. And then I think... Eight-ish people then? Eight, ten? Yeah. And then... Um, yeah. So like ten people, but eight playing. Right. At most times. Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, one guy had to leave early. So we still had eight people playing. So not bad for like the first uh, jaunting... Uh, I remember a few people that showed up I've seen before, um, like they used to play hero clicks or still do, I guess, right. but just like hadn't seen them in a long time. So that was cool. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just starting with the new rules because that makes the most sense. Anyone that's learning the game might as well just change it. A month yeah. Away. Because yeah. at this point we're probably only a month away from the change. So we might as well get on board with it. I had printed out some pacs that the color wasn't great on uh i'll have to resize them and print them out again but yeah also helped me get at least two full sets of extras out of my house which Ooh, was nice there you go. Yeah. donations yeah there wasn't Don't enough new people, people to like yeah to dump them on but hopefully uh we'll have like a i don't know might like buy a billboard for it to advertise yeah billboard yeah I know a guy. What is that? You know, <laughs> I know a guy that can. I'll just, I'll just make it on like a tarp myself and just hang like it myself. What? Are, who's gonna stop me? Who are they gonna send someone to stop me? No. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's been fun. Gosh. Um, really, it's like the planning was uh, just we make a Facebook post and uh, you know we're gonna keep making Facebook posts. Yeah, we'll probably post a couple other places as like time goes on to try and generate more traffic and stuff but obviously the biggest thing is getting on the win so that we can absolutely you know first thing most people do if they're in a new area is search the win for shops there's a ton of shops that i saw pop up in omaha on the win and maybe it's for other whiz kid D &D games or stuff yeah painting yeah but i'm like it's wild that they have a win account but like have never hosted hero clicks yeah it's like or i mean sometimes us, like, anything the win equals hero clicks yeah for us yeah <laughs> so strange yeah i know we talked about this in our like new player episode you know all those many years ago but it's like when you go to a new town or city or you move and you want to find a place to play first thing to do is like check the win that's like the yep. easiest thing but next best thing is really go on facebook and just type in like name of town hero clicks see what pops mm -hmm. up i think it's called like omaha clicks is the facebook page or yeah whatever, and that's ours yeah that. so that's cool that works I think another good thing about it is like try to get, you know, if it's going to be at a venue, try to get on like that venue's either website or like their calendar for like events, like weekly events, and yeah, stuff like that. That would also be really solid. If you, I mean, honestly, depending on the size of the town, if you can go to like a venue and ask them, like, 
do you guys run hero clicks events like what nights they should know i mean it, it does take like a little bit of not really detective work but just like leg work sometimes because yeah. there are some places out there that have they've got like a facebook uh hero clicks group but it'll be some like wacky name you know right. something that like you wouldn't think of offhand like instead of you know the detroit hero clicks group it's called like I don't District Nine West Side Life. Yeah, yeah. It's called West like Side Hero Clicks. Billiams, Billiams Clicks Group or yeah, something. Croissant Clicks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there are like a few places like that, but usually if you just search, you'll find at least one that's local, right. uh, and then you can work out from there. But yeah, luckily Omaha just has Omaha Clicks, and most venues post their events in there if they're going to post anything. So yeah. yeah. It was really funny. I could tell like a lot of these guys are new to the game or getting back into it. I think I played two teams that had a, a Silver Age component to their team, which I didn't, you know, I didn't care. It was still like super fun. I loved uh Aaron's team. Like that was like fresh out of like something I would play. You know? Oh yeah, was, yeah. Was he prime was prime US <laughs> agent. It was the captain, it was Bucky, it was Patriot, uh he was Ricky Barnes. Like I was like, This is this team is awesome. I mm-hmm. love this team. So like that was really cool. Uh, I played Marcus. He had a Batman enemy team, which is really cool. So I'm all down for like all the new Batman stuff from this set. So like that was a really fun team. Played some loser named Luke. He had this like Spider-Man I think it was Lucas team. Lucas. Yeah, I think uh, that's what Mike said his name was. No, no, no. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah, Mike <laughs> said his name was Lucas. You're right. Uh, he was playing like Carnage at 200 points. Oh, dude, I love I love the new rules. Playing these games, the new rules are so fun. Atrocitus went up to Carnage and just smacked him for seven damage like right away with those new heavies. I I love it. I love the shipping container. I yeah. love your 3D printed version of it because I'm like I'm hitting you with this just so you know <laughs> this thing. This yeah, like thing that's the size of an actual like, brick. Yeah, this heavy thick. Yeah, it's so awesome. And man, if I would have hit the other like two attacks with a one turn to 200 point Carnage, would have been so gnarly. But yeah, it was so much fun we i played on one small map that day and you know as far as like space like consolidation and everything goes if everybody would have been running small maps we would have mm-hmm. been able to have two games per table versus only one game per table so yeah you know, it, it does it makes sense actually. it's also super convenient to have like your uh up. cards and like oh, sideline yeah, stuff side. like oh my gosh. all like able to fit like it, it is like a side side tangent of like the rules change but it is something that I don't know if WizKids did that on purpose, but it is like very nice to actually have space at tables oh, now, yeah. um, at least when running one of those maps. And it's interesting because if uh, going forward, you know, if you're running a tournament, you'll obviously have to accommodate for the larger size maps. If it's like right. silver, like perpetually, I mean, maybe they'll like roll it back at some point when there's enough maps. Currently, we only have one modern legal. Well, it hasn't. Uh, yeah, it has been released. It's Batman Team Up. Yeah, uh, we have one modern legal map that will be of the right size when Spider Man drops. Until we get those maps yeah. from Spider Man. Yeah, once Spider Man drops, yeah, also give us two, three more maps. Uh, the map that I put down for you guys was from the Ten of Swords starter. Oh, you're right. So it was technically just a battle royal map, but it was like the correct size. And other than being fairly uh, pretty symmetrical, symmetrical, yeah. Other than that, um, I think it was like fine. I think it, like I it. it worked. Uh, I saw like I watched a few of the games that happened on it, and it didn't seem too crazy. But yeah, I, uh, Aaron was like saying he was like, it feels like I get to skip my first three turns now with like this rules change and like the equipment change yeah. and stuff. So like, as like a more casual player, he was basically saying like you know I just get to get like straight into the action, which right. is what WizKids was mostly That's going for. Goal. I will say uh, I played a. I was playing against a new player. Uh, the one game that I did get to participate in, I played uh, the Trinity from Batman Team Up. Mm. Uh, it's a very solid little three hundred point team. You know what really made that team just like better than solid though? What's that? Was theme probs. Oh. You know what I rolled back to back? Crit misses. Oh, no. Superman didn't hit once with his thirteen for five. Uh, yeah. He crit missed himself right onto like invulnerability almost. It was rough because like that I've never and like when we talked about our when we discussed like theme team props, I said like I don't care. I'm a little mad now. I'm a little really mad. Like them. there are some teams out there where they don't classically get prob, 
And now they're going to, like, you know, you're just never going to run them as a theme or you're never going to be able to re-roll those crit misses. And if I had rolled a third one, I might have got up and, like, walked away. Right. <laughs> like, like, how do you step outside yeah. for a minute to get a breather? Not really, but, like, because uh, it was, yeah, it was a newer player and I wanted him to win anyhow. Not that I had to crit missed in order to do so because right. like that was just very helpful mm-hmm. in that campaign of my team losing but no uh i have heard mixed reviews uh, i've heard a lot of people actually like well not a lot of people i heard specifically one person reciprocate the idea that uh they would use all their theme probs in like their first attack and i was like wild I've yeah, never, I would never like, do that i yeah. never did that because things like this were like late game you crit miss like i never used all my theme probs in one attack um but then i heard other people say different stuff and i think the thing i'll miss them or the time i'll miss it the most is going to be in sealed i think people when the spider-man set drops and you're playing it in sealed it's like why are you building a spider-man family because (laughs) you don't get any probs with that so like you might as well break theme to put a prob piece on there if it's like you know if that happens to be the thing um but yeah that's you know, you could build a subpar X Men team or whatever one of like the sub, yeah, themes were, and have like a decent chance because like you'd have three probs when your opponent didn't pull prob, and that was like something that yeah. more often than once uh, swung the tides in my favor in like sealed matches. So that will be a place where I'll miss it. Obviously, anytime I crit miss, I'll remember it. You know, pour one out, snap a figure so and sad, half, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hero clicks equivalent oh, of geez. pouring one out is, but just dumping a booster on Dump the floor. On the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, dude. Yeah. I, the more I play with the new rules, the more I'm like, you know, I think the thing I miss the most is I'm not in love with the card design. I think I like flavor text so much more than a big sculpt on the card. And then I, I really miss theme props. Like the map size has not been an issue. And, and honestly, with every time with how the, uh, first player turn order and all that stuff goes it's almost a non-issue at all yeah with the second player choosing map and deciding whether it's long or whatever so it's like it's it's really no big deal the, the you, map uh, thing is do you see that post on facebook i can't remember the name of the guy that did it but somebody like photoshopped the new cards and they shuffled like some stuff around like the new design and then like added flavor text to it yeah to show that like it would like yeah if you just like organized it in a different way you'd still be able to do like the big uh picture and like stuff like that and then yeah. still have flavor text um my whole thing is like even with the new card size we're still gonna have those like folded ones because that's just a thing like you're going to oh, run yeah. into characters that have to you know characters with an 11 click dial and like two special powers two traits it's gonna probably have one of those cards uh it just you have to list all the powers that they have on the card, even if it like flavor text yeah. or not, it's still going to be listed. And then sometimes traits are really long. Like Captain Marvel from Earth X has like the, you know, almost a start of a book. Oh, geez. Flavor geez. text. Yeah. Come back or in not, three days. Not trait. flavor text, but uh, it's trait. insane. Yeah. But yeah, I, I will miss just like getting a better understanding. I think that's something that, uh, we haven't seen it yet, but I think, uh, you know, when I see like, exodus with uh leadership i'm like when was he a leader and then it's like leading the morlocks and i'm like oh that's right get it now or like yeah okay yeah he did do that or uh you know just like any character that has a power that you wouldn't always assume uh and then you see the flavor text in the very definition of flavor text yeah you know i love a cheeseburger i don't want meat on bun i want cheese lettuce tomato onion you know, if you want mayo, you're one of those people, sure. Yeah. Uh, but ketchup, mustard, you know, <laughs> I want salt, pepper. I want flavor, seasonings. That's a burger, you know. Yeah. Burger, you know, normal, you know, bread and meat gets the job done. I won't, I won't hate on that, but uh, I just I just like flavor text so much. I'm going to miss it. We're going to see we're gonna see a Spider-Man with incapacitate. What could it possibly mean? <laughs> <laughs> what could it mean? What could be causing him to incapacitate these what people? What in the world could that be? I mean, obviously, yes. What would his super thing. senses be what could that, what referencing? What would that be referencing, bro? Yeah. I have no idea. It's just going to say super senses. 
I won't know why. How will I know if super, super strength is sensitive. proportional strength of a spider unless it tells me? <laughs> Obviously, that was a joke, everybody. I will miss. I will miss flavor text. But yes, there are some things that are very simple that yeah. are like self-explanatory. But like, take a Baron Zemo from War of the Realms, for example. If he just mm-hmm. had telekinesis and it didn't say moving the pieces in place, yeah, he'd be like, why on earth would Baron Zemo yeah, have like, telekinesis? He doesn't have mental telepathy you know, or whatever yeah but flavor text tells you oh this is this is planning baron zemo he's yeah. like he's organizing his troops that's well, more of a barking in order to i like that to too because that thematically changes what what the TK powers is need. yeah what so TK instead is. of yeah instead of like magneto like physically moving somebody right he's like directing exactly. somebody kind of uh so yeah it's Similar to like Kazar's like a, a trait or whatever, where he can have them move. Oh, hey, but yeah, it, have move, it yeah. works because you know he's the leader; he's pulling the strings. So yeah, that is like that is something I didn't think of. Like how you yeah, could kind all those, of all those powers that are weird for a character. Yeah, like flavor text really explains it, and it's yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna miss a lot. Hmm. But uh, that's it. That was Dragon's Lair. That was the new rules. Really fun, great place, great venue, really friendly people. It's in a man. It's in a great spot. There's so many places to grab food it is and there's so much parking oh yeah there's tons of parking yeah it's dope it's got a huge parking lot especially on sundays so it's not in a mall itself but like it's like a mall-esque parking lot yeah huge uh it's uh, yeah i'm hopeful that we'll be able to run big events there um i think at full capacity we like the current setup at full capacity uh with smaller maps, I think we could do two at a table. We could probably still do two at a table right now. It'd just be uncomfortable. Yeah. But yeah, we had, I think, I think we might need three tables unused we were tables. Do, like a big tournament. I think we might need a little something. Yeah. yeah. So we'd be at, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think we'd be capped at like 20-ish Yeah. right now. But uh, yeah, obviously that's something. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, parking we have. Though. <laughs> Plenty of parking. <laughs> we, oh, yeah, tons of parking. So if you want to play in the parking lot, by all means, please feel free. We have a ton of listener questions on our Discord, so we're going to go jump into that. There are dozens of us. Dozens! As a reminder, if you want to join our Discord, you have to be a Patreon member. I just gave away this month's giveaway stuff for Patreon and sent off all the cool tokens and everything, and I'm starting to get... All the t-shirt sizes in. Uh, everybody that supported our Patreon for two or more years last year is going to be getting a Dial H for Hero Clicks t-shirt. Even if you support it at like the $1 rank. So even if you don't join the $5 rank, that gets you access to our behind-the-scenes episodes or little day-in-the-life type videos or blooper videos or episodes. And then also the Discord and playing Bad Samaritan every single month. You know, even if you don't want to join, you know, the awesome $5 rank to get you stuff. Even if you join at $1 and it's just like a here, I'm not really getting anything for it now. Down the line, you might get something special like what I just did, which is like, hey, you've been at a dollar for so long, send you a t-shirt, free cost, free shipping, free whatever, and then stuff like that. So consider supporting us on Patreon. We're going to do a lot of really cool things this year, and we've been using all that cool Patreon funds to get more mics and cool stuff and things that we can use to increase video production and just make the podcast and YouTube channel so much better. So our questions on the Discord, we have Tyler M. saying, after every character has been venomed, what should be the next character mashup be, and what would you say would be a similar idea for DC? So yeah. this is in reference to like we got the Venom chases in Empire, yeah, the Venom chases in Earth X. X. We got Venom super rares in Spirit of Spider Man. We got a lot of just mm-hmm. we getting a lot of Venom people. Yeah, just Venom X, Venom Cyclops, yeah. Venom Captain America, Venom Magneto. I definitely can't wait till we get Venom Venom. The, like the truest of oh, venom be awesome uh no venom, i venom anti-venom <laughs> yeah <laughs> venom anti yeah Agent venom, venom anti-venom venom, where it's just venom. like a it's just like a i don't even know like a singularity happening on right. the sculpt uh the next character mashup i'm partial to iron suits or like you know i'm partial okay. like it doesn't happen a lot but i'm partial to that um i think something that we got once that we could definitely do better again would be like culked out heroes. Oh, that's always right. fun. Um, let's see. Well, we did get, we got quite a few like Thor ish characters over the like, years. So yeah, we've got like that hold the hammer. Yeah. Black yeah. widow, Thor, there's rogue Thor. Spider um, 
There's Spider Captain Thor. America, that's true. Mjolnir. He's not really Thor, but he's Captain yeah. Mjolnir. You know, and then that's we, happened. we got the Mighty Thors when they're like Thor oh, Core. Yeah. Some I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what Fantastic Thors. Yeah, Fantastic that. Thors. So that's what it is. Thors. Yeah, I don't know what that comic runs from specifically because it's not from Battle World, hmm. unless it is, yeah. and then I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those would be all right. Um, I don't know. Like, what's a what's a mashup version that you like? Because I another one I like is uh, the AVAS Captain America, the Nova Corps Cap. Oh, that was so awesome! Yeah, that's a cool. That one. was from such a cool like the Secret Avengers comic too. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I love that. So yeah, literally that just sweet equipping mashup. the Nova helmet and yeah, he, he now like they can you. fly oh, and stuff. Oh no, Richard Ryder got knocked out. So don't worry, he just slaps it on. <laughs> and I like how the Nova suit knows. Like, don't just give him the normal Nova logo. Give him some stars and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's we got know. like the whole intelligence yeah. of the Nova Corps or whatever, the world it's mind like, oh, or something. The most patriotic man on the planet just put this <laughs> helmet on. Stars and stripes forever. Uh, yeah, that was also a really cool mashup. Uh, I know this is clearly biased, but uh, the Captains, I'm a big fan of like the Captains Network and stuff like that they've mm-hmm. done. So uh, someone posted the Captain Canada Wolverine version in chat one time, which reminded me of one of my favorite shows ever made, Superhero Squad, which is like a kind of a kid show, but it's really good if you actually watch it all. Uh, they did a, an episode where Wolverine tries to become a captain, and he's Captain Canuck or Captain Canada. <laughs> and so he's he hates it, though, because they're all so... Uh, responsibility and follow the rules and whatnot and he's like i just want to stab him bub you know and it's, <laughs> yeah it's really it's really funny and we see like captain brazil and captain puerto rico and all like all this stuff it's hilarious so uh like that one is really cool uh we've seen spider-man mashups plenty of times but never like normal avengers of spider-man i i guess we're about to get the agwengers with oh that's gwen, right yeah. like thor coming we've out soon seen gwen thor so um i really liked the through the ages if we want to do another through the ages with just everybody oh, so yeah. like the iron man chases i love the iron man chases the Sp- so, i mean kind of the spider-man, Spider-Man ones. chases i would love to see that again that if is like a through uh, the ages something you can do people. for anyone also yes. i mean there is that like 1606 or 16, 1602 1602 oh my God. yeah there's that storyline so we only have 1602 versus yeah. captain america which isn't even that good anymore wasn't even good in the first place probably but like that mm-hmm. was such a cool storyline and they looked so cool the they yeah alternate takes on costumes and how they portray mutants and just did everything oh, daredevil was sick nick fury was cool like uh yeah. 1602 is one of the coolest storylines marvel ever did i love that alternate like kind of what if story so yeah there's a ton of mashups they could do clearly none as good as venom obviously uh but if you're ever curious about like what Marvel mashup they might do next, uh, pay attention to like Funko Pops because Funko also did like all Venoms one year, then they did like all Zombies one year, and then one year they did all Luchadors. So now I'm waiting for all our Luchador wrestler versions of Hero Clicks to that come out. That would also be pretty sweet. They also did yeah. like Mech Strike, which is just a the version of that character, but then they're in a Mech, which is interesting. So yeah, you never know. Uh, Tyler then asks, "What's the DC equivalent?" You know, there's no, like, not that I would know, I guess, for DC, but there's no, like, Venom. So I feel like we just get, like, X as Lantern, this person as a Lantern, that person as a Lantern. That feels like a good That's DC, true. Like, I, I do think the Lanternized version is, like, their, the DC's, like, Venom. Yeah. Um, the I'll closest thing to, like, a Venom in that universe is probably, like, the Scarab, like, Blue Beetle's Scarab. Oh, sure. Where it yeah. can... But, I mean, that's... At the end of the day, that's just like a suit. It doesn't, yeah, Yeah. it doesn't like morph and enhance their powers necessarily. It totally does its own, yeah. Yeah. I really like, I like when they do lanterns. I feel like DC has been doing this, but as Batman or Batman as this person. Mm -hmm. Like I showed you that thing I saw in Walmart the other day that was like Batrocitus that I didn't know existed. I'm like, this is awful. You took Atrocitus, who's cool, <laughs> and Batman, who's cool. You put them together, it made them stupid and lame, and I hate it. We don't need Batrocitus DC. That's just dumb. So I think DC loves just doing this person, but Batman instead. Mm-hmm. So I think that's DC's equivalent. And we've got the Rebirth, Death Metal, Bat Chases, uh, and maybe we'll get more. You never know. It was it, yeah. yeah. I was going to say another, and this isn't like a version, this isn't like a... This is just like alternate version, alternate universe or whatever. I did find there's like that Marvel Cars universe where 
all oh, the gosh. heroes are just like car versions of themselves. Um, at least I think it was Marvel. It might That's have been funny. DC, but uh, yeah, it was like the spider buggy was driving around, like recruiting people That's to fight funny. like the sinister, I don't know, circuit racers or something. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, but the sinister souped up pickup. Truck. I could see that being for whatever reason. I could see that being like the DC thing. Although we would have to start making cars. Didn't they make the bat monster truck and it's Batman as a monster truck. I'm pretty sure for death metal. Yeah. I think they did something dumb like that. Um, the, what is it? Red death, uh, which is like the flash, the way that Batman like kills him is with like a souped up speed stealing of car thing. Of course. It's oh. a terrible story. A well, lot of those storylines no, are just that's genius. Somebody was like, well, Batman has to win. So how's he do it? Uh, like this way. And you're just like, rah, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. That's mm. how, that's how that works. Okay. Um, but no, uh, DC's, I mean, they could do people with like Dr. Fate's helmet. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they have a version of warp world, but that'd be something, I guess if they, if like they just have like their you know, internal amalgams, maybe that was like Marvel's new venom thing was doing the warp world stuff. We did get that. Could be not two sets in a row, but we got a bunch of them. Mm. But yeah, I don't know if DC has like combination combo characters. There like was that might, but... Nightwing that had oh Night Lantern, Night Lantern. Yeah, that yeah. was like the one that had the amalgam power. Yeah, that was the one Marvel versus DC esque character they actually made because mm-hmm. that's what it kind of was. Uh, Luke Luke asks three play at home kits, three primes per rarity. Wizkids is taking the rule of three too far. When will it stop? Where will it end? It's never gonna stop. Yeah, we've. The rule of three has been the one unchanged thing throughout all of HeroClix history. I think, well, not, it's not even true. They had to add the rule of three eventually because then they realized Perplex was insane because uh, they made con artist. So it, after it was <laughs> introduced, the rule of three has stayed pretty strong, pretty much unchanged. And now they're just starting to be like, maybe all aspect of life is, is in threes. You know, we have three meals a day. I get three hours of sleep at, n- <laughs> at night. I have, you know, three energy drinks every every three hours. You know, it's just the rule of three. I think uh, that's just the way to live. I think WizKids, I think Justin Zirin should write a book called The Rule of Three, The Way to Live Your Life. And <laughs> he'll show you how every aspect of business is like, hey, three primes, perfect. Per yeah. rarity, sounds great. You know, you want at least three spreadsheets Let's for all it. your business things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you need at least three columns and three rows in each of them. Oh, you need to do your taxes at least three times just to make sure. <laughs> triple check them yeah yeah uh man the rules of three that you could do uh i mean why are we rolling two dice we should be rolling yeah three. yeah i had to play against that time jim spider-man like yeah. three times that yesterday just be, you know, we should always roll three dice uh you know rolling super senses roll three pick the one you want there you <laughs> just, go perfect uh for all rollouts and all attacks that would really just drag the game to a complete stand oh, it'd be still. awful oh, like, i hate it I, unless they changed super cent like all rollouts if they changed them to just succeeding on a six otherwise yeah didn't we play a game i feel like we played a game one time maybe it was disney plus i don't know but i remember just it should have ended like 15 minutes before that kept going because somebody kept hitting like their super senses or something gosh Yes, it was. It was Wanda's shape change was it like, in our Disney Plus okay. gameplay videos. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, Wanda Maximoff's uh, Halloween Spectacular shape change. Yeah, you get to that part of the point in the game and your you're team. like, I don't I even like, want to really keep playing, but no, like, I, I, I must follow the rules. Yeah. No. Um, so maybe not oh, that gosh. one for the rule of three, but yeah. Uh, you know, three figures per booster and then three oh, equipments per Lord. booster. Oh, well. So the boosters are actually going to be six slots now. Okay. But you're losing yet another. Yeah, there's figure only three slot. figures. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that'd be that could be interesting. That could be interesting. <laughs> three boosters per brick. Wow, thirty boosters per brick. So, <laughs> On the flip side, yeah, three tens. Hmm. Yeah, three I don't. I'm not in love case, with three boosters per brick. No, that's, that's for sure. Awful. That's pretty uh, bad. They're just like they go the McDonald's route where they like slurp fast food route. I should say because yeah. McDonald's isn't the only one, but like the the burger slowly shrinks. Because like they don't want to adjust the price to like keep the right. burger the same size, yeah. But yeah, there, there's our rule of three guesses. Matt Reed asks he he's going to leave for Japan slash Saipan 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 for for seven days. He's going to be there for seven days. Uh, what are my chances I can find HeroClix there? So a few years ago, Malcolm Rush did let us know that he saw 
Man 66 gravity feed in a Japanese kind of, I don't know, trinket market type store. Sure. A bunch of little a like flea gacha machines kind of thing. and random stuff like that. Little knickknacks. And he saw some Batman 66 hero clicks. So there's your chances, Matt Reed. I'm sure if you tried to find the factory they're made in, I mean, that near impossible challenge for how many factories are probably in. Well, I guess it wouldn't be in Japan. It'd be in China. So never mind. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. That's all right. Uh, yeah. I can read the bottom of the booster. I know where they're made. Uh, uh, yeah, your odds of finding hero clicks probably pretty slim. Probably better on like a a base, but yeah, I'd... yeah. I don't even know if I don't know how many like military personnel are out there playing, but uh, I want. Matt let me just to... bring my collection with me yeah, when I go. get <laughs> sent just... overseas to like the yeah. But yeah, Japan's a, a big country, so you might have to narrow it down. But yeah, I, I would put your chances at slim to not great. But we know they were there at one point in time. That's that's mm-hmm. I guess what I'll say. There is at least one point in time where there were hero clicks being sold in Japan somewhere. So your chances aren't zero. No. Zero percent, yeah. Yeah, they're never zero. Yeah. Yeah, people in the Siberian gulags have access to hero clicks. Oh, gosh. At least according to our okay. our pod bean downloads. Okay. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or three listeners from Russia yeah. or something. Yeah, it's really interesting. <laughs> Definitely not just bots. No, there's no way. Those are people that truly care about the game, Boris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope it is. I, I truly, I would, really, I would really hope so. They'd be like, "This is mm-hmm. awesome." Now they don't. Now they don't. They're like, "Wow, thanks." Now they're not going to listen to this <laughs> podcast anymore. Uh, Chance asks, "Do we see the return of Frogman and Beyond Amazing?" Hey, Frogman's kind of coming back with a vengeance. It'd be awesome if you ask me. I hope we see Frogman and Beyond Amazing. Didn't we? Yeah. Did we not see a sculpt for him, or did we? Uh, did we no, or did we not know? I know we saw like I don't a think bunch we've... of spider people, so maybe he wasn't part of that. I don't think that we've seen a whole like we've seen oh, Gwen and yeah bombastic Bagman. He also could kick people around. Or so no, he like, got kicked from like the same er- well, not really the same era, but about the same kind era. The people um, I want to be legacy are the ones we <laughs> is what I think. Yeah. I uh, no, I I would love for Frogman to get a new Frogman. Be cool. I bought a ton of them at one point, and then uh, bought a ton because I had this like this dream of just doing like an endless chain of knockback to my starting area for like a kill box. Oh, that's awesome. And then uh, the change in Wonder Woman killed that dream. And now like they've just been sitting in that box for like however long collecting so dust. Sad. But yeah. Also, I I just thought it would be hilarious to have a team of like only Frogman. He's, but goofy. Then he's a goofy dude. After that change, it was like I wouldn't be able to KO anything because he's got like two damage or something. Right. But yeah, I I think he'd be fun. Uh, he was also kind of in She Hulk, so like maybe they'll do like their right. homage to Frogman MCU Leap stuff. Frog, I guess. Yeah, I hate to change his name to Leapfrog. Leapfrog's a old school DS for children learning yeah. games, you know, <laughs> which I played the heck out of. I love that thing. I love my Leapfrog uh, when I was twelve slash younger. Um, but it's so funny that that was his name. Yeah. Bill asks, with the Scott Porter unboxing probably happening this week what do you think the symbiotes in the play at home kits will do i'm assuming there'll be a free equip for characters with the symbiote keyword that makes sense and we already know that venom thanos has symbiotic fusion trait so it seems like they won't just you know give plasticity super senses or like shape change Uh, i didn't even think uh, about that yeah increased dice rolls by plus one for like one of the symbiotes like single d6 rolls increased by plus one or like specifically super senses or shape change Modify that roll plus one if you can already use it. You know what I mean? So it's like a uh, ESD Captain America shield where it's like, okay, so Thanos already has super senses, sure. Yeah, what does but... Thanos already have? Well, that he has was... symbiotic fusion, so it should be, yeah, super senses, plastic- super senses plasticity. So maybe it's like if this character can already use super senses, modify the roll an additional plus one. But now with the change to Spider Man team ability, I don't know if that's what it would be, I guess. I could definitely see that for Venom being shape change, or whoever, if it's Carnage is the new shape change one, or whoever they're going to give it to. I could see that be being the case. So that could be cool. Uh, let's see. Spider-Gwen had Spider-Man family and celebrity, which, I mean, fair, she's not really a Venom thing. Black Order, Minions of Thanos, Symbiote. So he does have a Symbiote tri- or keyword, which I don't think I noticed. I think that's got to be a new keyword. Right? Uh, yeah, no, I don't... Ever- I don't think that's before. that's been a character, but never a, yeah. a, never a keyword. Uh, so things he has, 
uh, I mean, phasing close combat expert, well, prob CBI shape is change, what Bill's talking about. steel energy. Well, yeah, Supplies those are, senses. I think, like gems. Um, symbiotic fusion plasticity super senses. So he already has access to shape change and reach. super senses. He be giant reach. He already has giant reach. Like, does he? Ah, oh, shoot. Well, yeah, maybe the symbiotic uh, can do that. So I'm I'm in with you where like maybe if you already have like. Similar to like the rings where it's like if you can already use or like the Disney Plus equipment. Right. If you can already use super senses or shape change, like whichever it might give, then like plus one to it. Um, and then Carnage is known for like, well, he's got exploit on dial. I don't know. I was thinking like maybe Carnage, the symbiote Carnage would give you like an exploit thing. Blades. Yeah, <laughs> it gives you, blades could give you blades. Else. That might be the. Is that one thing that he doesn't have? He doesn't have it. Wow. Yeah. Man, he's like he's got a lot of stuff on his dial. Of not saying that like that means anything. They might double down on powers that he gets because it's not specifically designed for him. But he is the one thing that we can go off of when looking at this. So, yeah. I, I mean, maybe it gives you like a advanced version of like precision strike too, because like they're anti Spider Man things. Go. But I mean, there's two of them, so one's gonna do one thing, one's gonna do the other, and yeah, I think that it's safe to say probably not the plasticity shape change of old, um, mostly because there's two, and then also because symbiotic fusion is a shared trait that these characters have all been getting. So that is mm, that is interesting. So. I kind of wrote these questions out of order, which ruins the piggyback chain. I feel bad. So Chance first asks, do we see the return of Frogman to be on Amazing, which you already answered. Bill then goes on to ask, to piggyback off of Chance's question, top three characters you want clicks in Beyond Amazing. Ooh. Uh, well, I already know that Bombastic Bagman's going to be there. We saw it. Is, yeah. yeah, we saw his like 3D rendering or whatever. Um, but that would have been one. Uh, top three characters. Uh, we didn't get a Jameson last no. Spider-Man said, I think Jameson's due to return in more than a bystander way. And I think that there's enough like fun to be had with a Jameson figure. And I'll say, I know that he's not going to be there, but Orb Weaver, the Orb new, Weaver. the new Spider-Man. What? Yeah. Okay. He's a fashionista designer guy. Even orbs, this guy. And okay. so his like, he's, his costumes, like gold and black, and then he's got like one of those big frilly, ye old timey neck. Really? Yeah. You didn't know those are back. I mean, Interesting. You're not a high fashionista character. That's true. I'm, so. I'm not a high fashionista character, so you're right. I wouldn't yeah. know. Or <laughs> Weaver. Yeah. Okay. It's part of like, I mean, I think it was All a right. one shot from the Spider Verse, but. That sounds like it's a one shot from the Spider Verse, yeah. dude. That. 100% sounds like a one shot from the Spider Verse. To be fair, yikes. I think we're still do quite a few Spider Verse characters. Probably are. Yeah. Not like the main ones, but. I'll say my top three are probably going to be Baby Captain Marvel, the Nick Fury LMD robots, and then. Wyatt Wingfoot. Those are all people from Earth X. Uh, if you don't remember, oh. the Earth X set was <laughs> turned into half a Spider Man set. So Take I'm half still a waiting pound of for flesh my, from I'm them. still waiting for my Spider Man set that's half an, half an Earth X set. So Nick Fury LMDs are great because Nick Fury died and then he never turned them off. So they're mm. just randomly attacking. They're attacking Colossus, actually, uh, which is really funny because he's like, you know, anti Russian or like whatever. Nick Fury, I guess, doesn't care for the Soviets. So it's kind of funny. And Colossus, he just like crushes the head, throws him away, and he's like, I have to I have to deal with this daily. There are so many of them. <laughs> so I think that'd be a really funny thing. And then Wyatt Wingfoot is just awesome. He's Cap's like partner sidekick in He's the Falcon. In Earth X, mm. and then obviously Baby Captain Marvel's hilarious. So before yeah. Captain Marvel becomes like fully bring you back to life, Captain Marvel he starts off as a little baby, little baby Cap Marvel, and he's running around. And he's got cloaks cloak on, like tied okay. to his neck, and so they use that to like teleport around and just stay safe and whatever. So those would be my top three. Uh, we'll they're say, not going to be in it, obviously. But the fact that we got it. like shambling zombie Falcon and we didn't get Wyatt Wingfoot was and sad. Then, well, the real thing that was weird is the Vulturion. Yeah, very much. He has this really cool native looking headdress that looks like, you know, a bird, a yeah. falcon. And like, that's kind of what Volturion was like wearing. Yeah. You know, and then he and also was a dude flying. With he had wings. like the, he kind of had, the, I don't know, the slat well, armor kind of thing. It was like the beads. It's the bead oh, vest okay. is what he was wearing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like we totally had a figure that could have just been 
prime. You know, why yeah. we could have been the prime version of it or something, but we didn't. It was kind of sad. Uh, chance then to piggyback off of Bill's piggyback. Who are the top three you don't want to see in Beyond Amazing? Ooh, ooh. Top three I don't want to hmm. see. I mean, I'm already burnt out with the Venoms. I don't want to see Gwen so. Stacy. I don't want to see Gwen Stacy as Captain America. I don't want to see Gwen Stacy as Hulk. I don't want to see Gwen Stacy as the Gwentinol of Spyways. Oh, okay. I do want to see Guac- the Gwentinol of the Spyways. I still think Gwen Silver Surfer would be really funny, just because of. Yes. Oh gosh. Uh, um, <laughs> who do I not want to see, man? I, I'm probably not going to buy any of Spider-Man. Like, spoiler alert, I'm probably not going to like anything you put in there is probably I will say, to me. I don't know if I'm... So I don't know. If I'm ready to get another, like, common Mary Jane. Oh, like, sure. I think the paparazzi generating one is best. perfectly fine. Yeah. And she can turn into Marvella and, like, uh, whatever the other Venom one. And uh, I think she's, like, perfectly fine, perfectly good encapsulation of the character. I don't want another, like common perplex 15 point figure oh, sure. like that um i don't know there's there's really not like a lot of characters i don't want to see i think once the set comes out i'll like change my tune and be like oh did we really need another like generic symbiote or something um what carnage minion do we need another, another carnage, carnage minion That'd yeah be a little goofy, I guess. uh but yeah there's not really any specific character i would say off yeah hand you know cause... hot take i don't want to see batman in the spider-man <laughs> <laughs> i'm a little tired uh, of seeing tired batman see batman guy and these spider-man he's got eight versions of batman i don't yeah. want to see him in the spider-man set <laughs> how how controversial would it be I to know. say i don't want to see spider-man in this <laughs> if they give me another peter parker i, mean, I will riot to be fair they made a superman in the legion of superheroes set without that's a true cal l superman in it technically yeah which is kind of funny so I, I always laughed, and I actually kind of liked that set. That was a fun set. I mean, uh, I think Wolverine and the X-Men only had the co- one common Wolverine. Just the 001 Wolverine? Yeah. No, I think, man. I, I don't know. I'm going to look, because it's been a while since I've actually looked at that I full set you, list. I think you might be right, though. Uh, because, I mean, they did a good job filling out what should be in that set. And so, I mean. You got to go back further than that. Oh, yeah. You know, that's 2013, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta scroll. Uh, oh, there there, there we go. Um, All right, there it's he two is. Batmans zero, zero, staring at each other. There's one Wolverine. Yeah. Lady Death. Yeah, right, and he was he wasn't a uh, <laughs> Lady Death Strike kind of counts. <laughs> sort of. He wasn't a Phoenix Five, wow. and I guess did they remake him for any of the just the Gravity Feed? I think. Yeah, so just the gravity feed and the zero yeah. zero one. So it's possible that like you get a Spider Man, just get one, one, and then like maybe the starter Spider Man, and then like that's it. Do you think we get the into the Spider Verse team? In the, uh, like, do you think it's now been long enough after Into the Spider Verse that they're well? Like, there's just I feel like they we, would push that more on the box. Ham, I feel like they guess they probably would have too. I don't know. The, to be the, fair, we can't see the size. The box is the, the same, same art. Yeah, yeah, same art as the so booster or the brick. Um, and we can't see the back of any of the tokens, so we don't really know so what's going it on there. It looks like just Spider Gwen, Miles Morales, but then the other three are, is like, what is that? Doc Ock, Scorpion, and like Rhino or something? Yeah. The tokens. It's like half villains, half Spidey crew. So we have like half the team members in Into the Spider Verse, but we're, we're missing what? Spider Ham. Nicholas Cage, Noir, and then Penny. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. So really, it would just be making those three. Yeah. We only have two Spider Hams. Did you see? Samurai, uh, did so. James show you his um, his Into the Spider Verse Doc Ock or Lady yeah, Ock? Yeah, she looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's a character Hyper that Sonic I does amazing. I would amazing like to work. see in either this set or a future set. Uh, I think yeah. this set would make the most sense. Oh, at least, would. Definitely at least would. of right now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be upset if a Spider-Man set literally only had one Spider-Man. We have so many good options. I don't think I specifically need one, one. I'd be okay if we get a couple of Captain Americas and (laughs) Spider-Mans. I wouldn't mind it. We haven't gotten a Punisher in a long time. Oh, that's, that would be a good addition. Yeah. Yeah. 
which is just Punisher wild. Try to kill the Spider Man in his very first appearance. So uh... he's had his own show. He's had multiple like comic runs and reruns. And I guess we got the LE last year, but we hadn't had Punisher in like a a set since mm-hmm. like Captain America with Punisher War Machine. I don't think it's been a while. Yeah, and before that, I want to say it was like ADW. Oh, it was like a long time ago, yeah, because you couldn't even find anybody to use for Punisher's trait besides yeah. like the LE, so yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah. LE with the machete. Yeah, machete Punisher. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, let's see, piggyback off piggybacks. Uh, did Calder and Ian move to Omaha for purposes of the podcast slash YouTube, or was it a lucky accident? Uh, we moved to Omaha for podcast slash YouTube, 100%. Not Ian. Not Ian. Ian moved here he because moved here for Dave's hot chicken. He, he had to he escape Dave's crimes. Hot that was super. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh gosh. It's just specifically the Dave's hot chicken. Yeah. Also the crimes. Also the crimes. Yeah. And we. He's not really supposed to. Be. Nebraska. His name's Gene. Yeah. No, his name's not Ian. Anymore. Nebraska doesn't extradite, and especially not to South Dakota. So, right. um, yeah, he's laying low. Good old pickle Gene. <laughs> uh, yeah. What has been your favorite part? Is Dave's the best part of Omaha so far? I'm not going to lie. I really like it. It's yeah. a really good chicken sandwich. I can't believe uh, it's been three, uh, like maybe a month, three weeks to a month since it opened. And that place has not slowed down. It's like packed. it's still packed. It's, so packed. Uh, it's wild. I like Don and Millie's too, though. I really yeah. like that place. I also had a, a shake there as well. We're Don and Millie's kind of a staple, good. like an Omaha, yeah. not not like a staple, but it's like an Omaha tradition kind of thing. It's really it's really funny that it's like a fast food restaurant, and Ian pointed this out that they just like sell beer. Yep, <laughs> like it's really funny. And they have they have a happy hour where We're you like, can get what like in the world. This is like it's not like a full glass of beer, so it's probably like ten ounces or something. But you can get like a glass, oh like a ten gosh. ounce glass for like a dollar. Yeah, um, but they had a good cheeseburger. I yeah. had a chicken sandwich there too. They had good ice cream, so like I really like Donna Miller's, like Dave's Hot Chicken. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice place. We, me and my little brother, have already <sighs> Omaha tangent. Sorry, podcast. We already made a, a plan to go see the Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly odd tales at the oh. Rose Theater coming up soon. I didn't know they made that into a play. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't know the Stinky Cheese Man was like a book. Oh, we really? Just saw, we just saw the art for it, and we're like, that is hilarious. Yeah, there's like the. So they have like a. It's just. So this came out when I was in elementary school. Yeah. Like, I I think, or at least I came to know about it. Um, that might date me, like, to exactly when I was in elementary <laughs> school, but... Uh, People Googling. Yeah, it was like... the Stinky Cheese Man It's, you out. know, it's like grim fairy tales or, like, old, like, fairy tales. What, or not necessarily fairy tales, but whatever. Tales. Um, right. Funny, though. And then, fairly like... Fairly odd. Tales yeah, they, they, they kind of skip over, like, the good ending part and just, like... So, like, the ugly duckling is just, like, there once was, like, an yeah, ugly duckling. And, like, ugly. the normal, normal story is, like, he turns into this beautiful swan mm-hmm. at the end. But it's, like, he grows up and he's just even uglier. Oh, no. He was just, like, truly a horrific-looking duck oh. the whole time. It's, like, so hopefully it's what's inside that counts ugly duckling hey, or something. Some, you know. some people, these kids need to just be hit with some truth bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you don't turn into beautiful swan. Sometimes you'll just stay the ugly duckling. No. Yeah. Uh, Luke 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 asks... To piggyback off a of chance's piggyback, what are your top three piggybacks? Mm. Oh man, that's um, a tough one. Jeez, definitely a football. Using a lot of pig back in a football. Yeah, as they say, the old pig skin. So that's got to be one of them. That's true. That's true. Uh, uh man. pork rinds. <laughs> I guess I don't know if pig back is used in pork rinds, but there. Might and as then, well. And then of course the uh, riding on somebody's back and feeling taller than i normally am it's always fun yeah yeah i can't do a piggyback and you like i mean i can give piggybacks but i could not my legs would just like go numb within me out seconds yeah that too when you're like a grown man yeah the last time i like went for like a piggyback ride (laughs) gosh (laughs) the sentence what are we talking about But like the last the last time i remember doing this uh was like a (laughs) what a very drunk bar hat like hopping in uh colorado and the guy that I trusted to carry me was way too intoxicated to carry himself. And so I like immediately like hopped on his back wow. and luckily he like had the sense to like spin. So he, I didn't just like face plan him like some sort of WWE move. Oof, uh, but yeah, I, like I jumped up and he grabbed me and then he like took like a stumble step turned and yeah, like I hit my knee super hard, but mm. luckily I uh, didn't feel it till the next day. So 
Yeah. There you go. Like at a, after a, a certain awful. age, you just stop requiring piggybacks. Yeah, it's just not necessary. Anymore. Unless it's like a We're dire good. situation. We don't need to do that. And the watcher asks, what are y'all's top three favorite changes and top three least favorite slash things you wish they would have addressed? My favorite change easily is support. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love support now. I used it insane, like crazy the other day. Used it a ton. Love support. Uh, next, I'll probably go with map size. I like to change the map size. I'm cool Agreed, with it. Yeah. We get in the game faster. We get in the action faster. We get to go start rolling dice. So big fan of map size. And then, yeah, super strength and the terrain objects, both the, the special terrain markers and super strength. I'll loop those in together. I have been digging it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Super strength feels awesome. It feels correct. It feels about as strong as it should be. I want to, you know, yeah, I, I can't like wait it. to build a team with like some cheap free one barrier marker and then somebody yeah. with like charge super strength so yeah. I can just endless supply of barriers to smash people with. Um, I, I don't know if I like support more or quake because i really oh, like so cool now yeah oh. i was watching that game when uh aaron like quaked that wall or like re- charged up and then quake like you know says destroy like adjacent blocking yeah and then you make the attack and uh yeah that was just like so cool i hadn't thought of like oh you can attack people on the other side of walls now uh that and then i guess i mean stopping being able to stop and blocking if you have like improved movement destroy oh. blocking yeah, that's that something awesome. that i I've always wanted it to work that way because like it feels like so many times you just barely have like the reach to get to like the last square and then you got to use a perplex or something. And now it's like, you know, if there's enough blocking on the board, I can like charge or not necessarily charge. I can run like halfway through it and then I'm just completely surrounded by like printed blocking. Like, you know, I just stop where I like, you know, stop. I don't know. Nice seems like there's a lot of uses that will come forth with some of those smaller changes like that um least favorite and then things we wish they would have addressed so things they forgot about and least favorite um or we think they forgot about uh least favorite i i don't think theme team prob is like that crazy of a change although i don't like not having it it's not like like my opponent also doesn't have it so it's not huge to me uh flavor text is probably like the biggest one i think that's been like the one that i've missed the most even though we haven't even gotten a set yet i'm missing it before it's even gone uh and then man like i can't say like spider-man team ability change i can't say i will say that actually that is one of the things i don't like and it's really good. It makes sense for Spider Man. Yeah. But like specifically for like the US Agent team I built a while ago. Um, the Marvellas copying Green Lantern was so huge to like move everybody up and then they could like later they could get like P D or something. Do you think we'll get there more Spider so Man's with utility. team player now? I hope so. Because I that really is really hope so. It's such an iconic thing yeah. for them to do. The Super Census makes sense. Once they showed a Wonder Woman, it's like, well, that makes more sense for Spider Man than it does for Wonder Woman to have right. absolutely. Um, but man, I do, you know, and it's not even a thing that I, that's like a total least favorite or I hate it. It's just more like a dang, that's, that is going to take some getting used to because I'm so used to Marvella being like, yeah, copy GL, you know, stuff like that. Things that I'm, I've played with so much. And now it's like, I probably don't play as many like Spider-Man team ability characters because like, I'm just so used to it being copy. Well, yeah, like there, I mean, there was a time where you'd play Spider-Man teams with like Surely a Wonder like, Woman, yeah, Wonder Woman, or so to just do. I that mean, anyways, yeah, you want to so go back bad. further than like Spider-Man teams with like Mystic characters, so that you'd oh, have yeah. like a team full of Mystics way back uh, when that was available. No, I remember like when the Doom uh, TA changed, Minions of Doom TA changed. There was yeah, like that was grumblings. Awesome. Yeah, no, there's, that was awesome. There's grumblings online <laughs> because people were like, "Oh, like I used to do like this team," but I'm like most characters that get this team ability are like big heavy hitters big killers bro and they're not yeah they're not like really good team players so Doc, yeah dr doom's not a team player yeah. he's like i'm doom i work with myself literally myself <laughs> you know and nobody else yeah. that's me dr doom so. i made robots of me exactly. so that i could have friends i don't want who dr doom <laughs> sad life in the, in the man in the high castle very sad life but yeah uh things i wish they would have addressed uh i think i brought it up and like again I haven't been corrected, but um, okay. I also just might be missing it in the comprehensive. 
I don't know what happens to the new terrain when it's destroyed. If like I debris really is think placed, it, I think it disappears. I mean, yeah, I would assume I think so. That's true for barrier now, too. but there's I don't think barrier makes it because it's special terrain now, isn't? Isn't barrier also? That's terrain? what I. Yeah, I mean, it's so also no like a terrain. Barrier. So like, there's certain text in the comprehensive rules that talks about like. But I couldn't find that text. Debris so mean. not being placed in like certain situations and not debris being placed in other certain situations. So I don't know. Uh, that's just something like hopefully there's a a little bit of rules blur. But when those actually do come out, like, you yeah. know, hopefully they have like the rules printed on the back or something. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that like, yeah, not necessarily addressed, but I just need clarification because I don't know what's going on there. Because, yeah, that'd be wild if I if I smash that shipping container, just like shoot it. Like, do different things happen if I shoot it compared to using it in an attack? I assume so, because otherwise I could attack and be like, oh, I swung from this side, though, and put yeah. like six squares of debris over there. Um, something I wish they addressed. I don't know. That's about it. Like, I... I have to play with the new rules a little bit more, and like, really, I don't think. Uh, maybe like a change to leap climb. That's like the one yeah. that's, you know, other than like helping out against plasticity, it doesn't really do too much. So, my, my personal thing I wish they would address is uh, along the same things of leap climb, but earthbound. Earthbound, yeah, yeah. I, I that should cripple you, bro. Like that should mess you yeah, up. Yeah, because currently, f the flight symbol gives you passenger one. And then if you get earthbound, you can't use improved movement. You so you can't fly, but you can still carry somebody as if you were a flyer. That's and it's not very just... Earth. You should need to be carried, bro, yeah. if you're earthbound neutralized. <laughs> I don't know. I really want earthbound neutralized to go back to being like, dude, I have this power. I got to get out of here. I got to heal. I got to get off my top click if it's like a banner click. Like, I don't want this power. This is awful for me. Yeah. You know, that's what I want earthbound neutralized to be. Instead, it's like not even printed at all anymore when's when's the last figure you saw at earthbound neutralized Simeon? the last figure um, i can't even there might have been one in batman but i don't remember it if i'm being i honest. can't think of yeah i can't just think of one off the top of my head yeah. uh yeah i haven't mm, so like character that gets like depowered like not getting printed maybe it needs to be better and by better i mean so much worse yeah it makes you bad <laughs> that's the flavor of it that's the fun part about it you killed it with quake you killed it with support you killed it with super strength you, you kill it with all these powers. They're so good. They're so awesome. I love I love those powers and what they do. Please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, please make like Earthbound neutralized this big detrimental power. That's like I'm Earthbound and neutral. I'm neutralized. I can't do anything. Yeah, that's what I want it to be. So that, that's my biggest thing. But yeah, my good my best Earthbound neutralized story is uh, I was playing Living Tribunal. Okay. And this big whole thing is you get like judgment tokens and then you can eventually once you have enough like i think you can do it every turn but once you have enough it becomes like more likely that you'll actually hit it yeah. uh you can roll and if you roll like a certain number then you can choose a judgment that like you know they vary there's like oh, yeah. several listed um he's got like a fold out card as well but one of them is all opposing characters for like the rest of the game have earthbound neutralize and battle fury it just like i mean it it wouldn't be pulled off in a competitive game, but in anything other than like competitive that he'd be played in, obviously just allows your team to like nuke them from orbit at that point. Like it yeah. just, especially when, well, not so much anymore, but like when they first came out, when he first like was able to do this, um, hindering still stopped you for movement. So, you know, you wouldn't be able to like move. Yes, so that, yeah. yeah, the first time I played him, it was like on, uh, like the, flooded wakanda or not flooded wakanda i don't know something like that yeah. and uh he was in like the back corner because he's got like 13 range and so just for my opponent to get to him also this was pre wonder woman so pushing damage oh man just to get to him they would have to like move up to the hindering clear move like half speed through the hindering clear so it was like taking turn after because they can't shoot at him because they have yeah. battle fury. Right. And then they can't like take two actions in a row or they're taking pushing damage. And so, yeah, with all of those changes, I mean, He's granted, battle fury's stay the same, but basically, yeah. Yeah, like Earthbound used to give you on a, like, you know, it took away your willpower. Yeah. And on top of the other effects that like ter normal terrain did to you. And without all that, yeah, it's. It's really lost a lot of its flavor, yep. a lot of its uh, detriment. And that's more so the game changing around it than 
Totally also, how how cool itself. would that be as like a power like um, God Emperor Doom instead of that power that just like ignores all your powers when he uses it? Uh, instead of that, it was just like he hits you and like you get Earthbound neutralized for the rest of the game or something. I mean, dang! If it was like good. the OG yeah, Earthbound, yeah. like not yeah. now, but it was some brill. Yeah. All right, Brad asks. This is uh, wild to piggyback off of Luke Luke's question, uh, which I don't know how this is related. I guess kind of. I can see it now, Brad. I see it. Can y'all do a Kermit the Frog impression and or a Miss Piggy impression? Who do y'all think does each one better? Before you do them, who do you think will do the better one? Who do you think will do the worst one? Shall we? Do we want to take a crack at <sighs> both? Does, does one of us want to do Kermit? The other Gosh. Miss Piggy? I don't feel confident in my ability to do a Miss Piggy impression. I feel like every guy ever probably. thinks he can do Kermit. Probably, yeah. Like, Kermit's you know, like a more iconic. I think every dude thinks he can do <sighs> Kermit. I I don't, yeah, I don't feel confident in a Miss Piggy. No. I like. I honestly don't watch or haven't in like my lifetime watched enough Muppets to uh, even I, have like a voice bro, for Miss Piggy. Like literally Muppets in Space treasure planet or treasure planet muppets treasure island yeah treasure island but yeah. Uh, you know what i mean and then christmas carol muppets christmas carol so i did watch that one muppets movie that came out in like 2012 or 2011 that was weird i never watched the muppet show though oh yeah that was a weird one i like the muppets i don't i don't know if i believe in i can do a mean rendition of uh elmo's world Da 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 da. Elmo's world. Yeah, that I don't one. know if I call that a mean rendition. Oh no, that wasn't my rendition. Oh, okay. that was just, that was just a reminder. Uh, yeah, for, what Elmo's for world anyone that doesn't tune, know what Elmo's, Elmo's world? world tune is, yeah, Lex is uh, goldfish. His crayon too. Yeah, but he hates Rocco. <laughs> he really hates Rocco, dude. All right, Simeon, who do you think is going to do it better? Uh what is going to happen? I think <laughs> you've got a hidden. I hidden think uh, frog impression inside you. I think I'm going to. Do terrible at Miss Piggy because I can't I think even. We're both gonna do terrible at Miss. I Piggy. can't even picture that. So I'm gonna say you'll you'll do better at Miss okay. Piggy. Um, you might do better at Kermit the Frog. I'll, I'll give myself Kermit the Frog. Yeah, I don't okay. know. All right, I'll probably like eat those words, but yeah. Who do you, who do you think? <laughs> Are you voting for yourself I, too? I I really think I can do a good Kermit. But I think okay. every guy. I think every uh, guy thinks he can do a good Kermit the Frog yeah. impression. Cue like um, Yoda quotes right yeah like yoda or like they think i can totally do smeagol bro no i i can totally do smeagol i do a really good smeagol impression see bro. that that video of um the like casting office or whatever for rick and morty as like oh, somebody gosh. trying to like replace bro, like, i can the totally voice. do rick i can totally do oh dodgy rick yeah i can totally do morty bro i can totally do it it's like every painful. guy every it's guy like thinks it's a that. it's a not like real but it's you know that like it's actually happening oh, to some poor guy. So many yeah. like emails or voice memos or something. All right, let's get Miss Piggy out of the way first because that's got to be the. That's fine. One. Yeah. Um. I don't. I'm trying to remember what she I, sounds yeah, like. I'm in trying to think right of now. what she would even say. Hmm. Kermy. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> that was bad. Hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to go on stage, Kermy. Get out of the way, Fozzie Bear. Maybe is that I'm sure. kind of Miss uh, Piggy? Sounds Kermy. good to me. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Why yes, Kermy. The only thing weird. I can think of, like Miss Piggy says, is like, "Let me do that for you." <laughs> yeah, I didn't even say that. <laughs> I was like waiting for it. It's uh, a stupid long Let dog me meme. Do it for you. <laughs> when all I do is for you. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's the best I can do, Miss Piggy, and that's. The reason why is that's the closest thing I've heard to Miss Piggy in probably a decade. So. Yeah, that's pretty fair. <laughs> um, yeah, then Kermit's just like uh, Morty, but easy with like your tongue clenched or something. Okay, give it to me, Simeon. I did Miss Piggy so first, like, and she was terrible. So, uh, hey Rick, uh, like hey, uh, I don't know about this uh, portal, Rick. Hey. I don't, like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't like the idea that's of closest. Kermit just being Morty. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Uh, Muppets in yeah. what, like Cartoon Network or whatever, Adult Swim, Adult whatever Swim, that yeah. Yeah, universe is. Hey there, Simeon. Yeah, Joel, Joel, it's me, Kermit. I'm Kermit the Frog. Rainbow Connection. Is this right? Hey there, Simeon. I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah. 
What? The Muppets Fozzie Bear? We'll, we'll have the listeners, listeners vote. Listeners decide. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll release it next week. Who, uh... Fozzie, you can't kidnap got... Jack Black. <laughs> we'll see. I think my Miss Piggy definitely won, though. Think, uh... It was very accurate yeah. from what I've seen of Miss Piggy as of late. <laughs> Let's, yeah. And by Miss Piggy, I mean a funny dog. But yeah. it's Miss Piggy's voice, apparently, from the, sometimes The somewhere. Pringles dog, yeah. Yeah. Google right. Pringles dog. Thank you, Brad. Hey, speaking of Brad, there's a Bradcast tournament this weekend. A pretty oh, big Bradcast true. tournament. February 25th marks this insane amount of prize. He says he's got over $3,000 worth of prizes. It's a big snake draft of over 50 prizes. Where is it? It's in Brad's Discord. Bradcast. All right. He's got links everywhere. They're all over the place. February 25th, Saturday. All right. You're going to need Roll20. If you don't know what Roll20 is, you can find it somewhere. Don't worry about it. Uh, 300 Modern. That is the build. See the new rules. Probably build something fairly competitive. Five, oh God, five rounds, Brad? Jeez, that is, that is a lot of Heroclix to play, Brad. Mm-hmm. Uh, start time is 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's what I like to see, Brad Broyles. Thank you. Central Standard Time. I don't have to go Google EST to CST, PSST, CS, whatever, to GST. GMT. That's my time zone, ladies and gentlemen. So it's 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. End time, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope we f- finish before then. Uh, but the entry is free. Brad usually does like $10 buy-in tournaments, so it's usually like 10 bucks. Or, if it's your first tournament, it is free, and it's free until you actually place in any of Brad's tournaments. So that's really cool. If you want to play those, those are uh, every Friday, I believe. I don't know if he does them on Tuesdays or anything. He used to do two a week. But I think they're every Friday now. But this tournament is completely free that you get to play in. So, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, this Saturday. You're like thinking, Calder, how do I get entered? How does he know that I just don't show up in the Discord and be like, hey, Brad, I'm here? Step one, you need to fill out your build sheet. It's due Wednesday, so it's due the 22nd of February, so two days from now or whenever you're listening to this, this February, the 22nd, 2023, at 11.59 p.m. CST, so before midnight. So uh, he has a Google link in his uh, Discord which you can find. So if you find this post somewhere, he has a Google link to the build and email. So you want to email Brad a screenshot, all right, uh, of your build. And also, this is optional. So it's bradcastshow at gmail.com. So that's the email. So find a Google build sheet somewhere, email him the build, your sideline, everything, probably your tarot deck, I assume, all that stuff. Make sure you have all that on your build sheet so Brad can find it, all right? And then another cool thing he is doing is is even though yes it is a free tournament he is asking that if you're able please donate to one of the following charities so one is the american foundation for suicide prevention one is the epilepsy foundation one is the huntington's disease society of america uh, one is the american humane society and then one is our charity the international player foundation that we are using to raise money to get international players to hero clicks worlds so all sorts of great charities you can also donate to if you want to. If not, it's a totally free entry, but that's a really cool thing to just bring charities uh, to people's forefront of their mind when you think about a Heroclix tournament. So it's really cool to be able to use your voice and use your, you know, your, you're already advertising for something. You know, it's kind of a good cause. So it's really cool. So, and then further entry, you email your, your email your builds to Brad. Also, please email a screenshot if you do end up donating to any of those charities to brad as well and then personally message him on facebook or discord to confirm that he got your email he's probably getting a ton of emails all over the place and it's going to help him organize it he is i believe just brad Broyles on facebook so adam as a friend mm-hmm. on facebook just message him after you send that email pretty simple pretty easy so that's brad's tournament it's going to be the 25th i'm going to play in it i don't know what i'm playing yet i guess i better figure that out yeah. in the next two days uh <laughs> Uh, they are using the new rules, yes. um, and like so that one legal map will be available. That one two by t- or yeah two square by two square whatever, um, battle royal style new size. What is it? Sixteen by sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, by 16. sixteen by sixteen. I guess um, that one map will be legal for this tournament because that's the only legal map that is of that size right now. But yeah, uh, I think I've said it before, but. Definitely plan on your team being able to play on a two by three, yep. and uh, like if you're building for a two by two, that's like also an option that you could be put on, or you can choose to put your opponent on. But I think it'll be fun. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I don't know if I'll have that much time free on Friday, or if I'll have any time free on Friday, Saturday, or Saturday. Yeah, yeah. 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 
But yes. It's also Friday. Yeah, Saturday I mean, and yeah. Friday. But um, hopefully, and then I think if I'm building, I don't know, I really want to do Cape Pride, but then it's like, ah, that team's only going to work if I get the map, and there's going to be a few map. times where I yeah. don't get the map, and I'm not going to build theme with it. So I might just do, uh, you know, some Mission Point Tarot cards, some Immortus, and some uh, Ultron, That's and just fun. see what happens. I won't win, but we'll try. But yeah. That is it for this week. Like always, we are sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products. Make sure to pre-order some of that Spider-Man Beyond uh, stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Of course he is. Um, <laughs> do that before they're sold out, or uh, don't. If you don't like it, pick up some singles when those come up. But yeah. All right, guys. Like always, thank you for listening to Dialogues for Hero Clicks. You can follow us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, wherever podcasts are found. Feel free if you want to support the podcast to join the Patreon. A link in the description below. If you want to support the podcast with fun word of mouth, tell your friends about the podcast, or write us a review on anywhere you listen to the podcast. You can write us an email at dialogesforheroclicks at gmail.com. Make sure to like our Facebook and Twitter pages and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And like always... Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would six how would people humor? think I am funny? It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools. It's not richer nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? Hey, Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Epic trail.